Hi Pisces, I'm here for another reading for you today. As always, this is a general and a timeless reading. It's not a personal reading, but if you would like a personal reading, a one-on-one -on -one session, or an Akashic Record session for past life regression and soul healing, check out the box below. It does have everything it is that you will need. My website, 144bluerosetemple.com, and my email. On the Lionsgate Portal 88, we do have an intro to the Akashic Records workshop, so feel free to also email me or check that out on the website. We do have a few spots left for that. Thank you for all of your love and all of your support to my channel. If my energy resonates with you, feel free to subscribe and click on the notification bell so you can know when the next reading does come out. There's a lot of Osiris energy today. I've been seeing it all over. My son woke up talking about Osiris. So there's a lot of just Osiris energy today. The gathering, community, kinship, companionship. All right, you could be seeing 333. There's also something about community here, like getting together with like-minded souls. I'm also like um, following the stars, 111. Something about maybe like the stars. I'm also getting like a group of star seeds. <laughs> They're the green man, all right? Osiris, he wants to come out. Uh, you have the green man, rising energy surge, fertility. All right, the number nine and the numbers three can mean something to you. There's something like growing when it comes to like the fertility energy. Like it feels like um, something that's sprouting. It could be an idea with a group of people, one, four, four. Again, I'm hearing like like-minded souls, okay? So it could be a, a soul tribe of yours. It could be networking, collaborating, family, whatever that this is, you and either one other person or a group of people. It feels like there's something that's sprouting over here. It feels like there is a lot of abundance that surrounds this. You have rebirth. And you do have goddess, okay? So you could be going through a rebirth right now in general, we are going through like the serious portal and it's a lot of death and rebirth for like the whole past month. Okay. We have a lot of planets in retrograde. So like, if you feel like you're just every single day is a death and rebirth, this energy is so intense. So like you're perfect exactly where you are. We're aligning to that fate and destiny energy of eight, eight, the Lionsgate portal. So just know that you're perfect where you are, whatever you're purging, whatever's going on in your life. And don't be afraid to reinvent yourself. Give life to your dreams. Create a new reality. Okay? I have a lot of chills as I say that. So for some of you, it's like, and I have, yeah, a lot of chills, especially like the crown, like it's all over. Don't be afraid to reinvent yourself. Reinvent yourself as many times as needed. And what's coming through is also like, don't be afraid of who you lose in the process of reinventing yourself. The people who are truly for you, your true soul tribe, your true soulmate, soul tribe, romantic lovers, all those different things, they will not be afraid to continuously re-meet you and you the same for other people. You know, I feel like you're going through something, Pisces, where it's just like you have to re-meet me. You know, some of you could be in hermit mode, um, but I feel like whatever rebirth you're going through, like people will have to re-meet you and they either will or they won't. Uh, there's definitely a focus on people over here. Um, you know, you're rebirthing yourself. You are creating a brand new reality. Uh, and especially with the Lionsgate 88 portal, you're aligning to your highest timeline. You are giving birth to your dreams. When it comes to rebirth, you're giving birth to your dreams, all right? Especially as a Pisces with that dreamy energy, you're really able to bring those dreams into a reality. So that's what I have for you, Pisces. Let's see what the tarot has. Divine Mother and Father, Holy Spirit of God, for rebirth, the gathering, and the green man. What do we have for Pisces? Yeah, you're going through like a huge foundational shift over here, Pisces. You have nine of coins. You do have the death card. All right, foundation. Why the nine of coins here? Five of cups. Why the death card? Four of Cups. For some of you Pisces, I feel like you're in the in-between. Eight of Wands over here where something is coming in. There's definitely something coming in, but something didn't work out for you. All right, something didn't work out for you. You were redirected by spirit, whatever it was, and it caused this death. It caused this ending, this rebirth, but you're still wondering like, okay, so what's coming in? Four of Cups over here. 
that didn't work out. So where do I move forward from here? You know, um, you're in the unknown, you know, and so being comfortable in the unknown because there is something coming in for you. But part of this is your surrender and having faith and trust uh, in your path and what's coming in. And also know for, especially with all these retrogrades and the Lionsgate portal on August 8th, right now we're being aligned within ourselves. Like what thoughts? Yeah, five of cups. What thoughts? What emotions, what traumas, what past lives, all these different energies. What doesn't resonate with our highest timeline? Th this dream reality of yours, what inside of you does not align with that? Because that's all being spit out right now. Death card, four of cups. And you may not see exactly what's coming in, but this too shall pass because there is something coming in. Why the death card with the four of cups for Pisces? The high priestess, all right? For some of you, you're going through also third eye openings. The sun card, yeah. You're being asked to surrender right now. I get a lot of divine mother. You did have the goddess card on the bottom of the deck. A lot of divine mother energy, a lot of Sophia. Some of you in particular, you connect with Sophia energy, all right? You are in like this initiation of silence, of stillness we did it yesterday was the day of uh, you know taking space and time the zero point um right now pisces you're in a cycle where it's like you are you've been through a death process but you maybe don't quite see it reborn just yet your rebirthed self it's coming and it's here you're being asked to detach of what your life looks like right now five of cups nine of coins Four of Cups. It's like you're looking around like, well, where's the breakthrough? When When is it coming in? You're being asked in this like initiation that you're going through to detach 7-7 seven, seven from your outer reality. Completely surrender. Hangman energy. Suspend yourself. Surrendering to that present moment. Having faith and trust in what is going on right now. Because if you if you try to make sense of what's going on in your life and that's what's coming through, it's like there may be a lot going on in your life right now. Maybe there were setbacks, maybe there were redirections. But if you pay too much attention to those things, it's going to bring you into a lower vibration. And so you're being asked to know the truth amongst the illusion and things are going to come in for you. Why the high priestess? You have the king of swords. Why the high, why the high priestess with the king of swords? What's this King of Swords? Someone's coming in over here, Pisces. King of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Knight of Cups, Page of Cups. They're coming in with some sort of message. Why the Knight of Cups with the Page of Cups? You have the Three of Swords. All right, so there's some sort of message coming through over here. Who is this King of Swords? They are watching you from a distance. Ace of Coins, they see you as an opportunity. They do see you as an opportunity, Two of Wands. They're like, how do I come forward? Pisces seems to be like someone I want to approach. Who's the King of Swords? Why the King of Swords with the Two of Wands? Yeah, they see you as an opportunity. You have the King of Coins, okay? So this person is showing up as King of Swords, King of Coins. They could see you as a King or Queen of Coins. They see you as a good opportunity. And I have a lot of chills as I'm saying that too. So they do want to make their way forward to you. That's why it's like whatever's going on in your life right now, Pisces, just trust what is happening because something better is coming in for you truly, even if it wasn't as you planned. Uh, why the King of Cups here? Yeah, things are balancing out, Pisces. The King of Cups is your energy. Two of coins, balance, and then the chariot card. Why the chariot with the two of coins with the king of cups? There's a need for you to be... Yeah, they're good. look at that. There goes the hangman, This is that suspension card, and the four of swords. There's a need for you to just surrender to what's happening right now because you don't even see what's coming in for you. Um, redirection's your protection. You're really being aligned to your highest timeline. And um, while, again, sometimes maybe things don't make sense in the outer reality or it's really testing you and asking for your patience, just have that patience because this too shall pass and there is something coming in. 
You have two of coins, the chariot, and the four of swords, okay? There's peace over here. I do feel like there's a need for you to just be at peace and to be in a surrender, meditative space. 1010, as I say that, for some of you, ground and meditate amongst these energies because things are coming to a balance. What's the chariot with the four of swords? What's the seven of swords? Hmm. This is a card of destiny. There's things coming in for you, Pisces. You have the Ace of Wands, Passion, Purpose. Uh, you have also the Destiny card that came out with the Seven of Swords. All right, so you never know how things are actually working out for your destiny, for your fate, for your highest good. Why the Seven of Swords with the Destiny card? I feel like something was destined to happen over here as well. Like there's a need for you to... To allow something to clear, 1111. I feel like there's things that you also don't know that are going to be made known to you. There's some sort of ending that like you need to accept, whether that be with work or with someone over here. There's a need for you to accept that because it was destiny anyway. I feel like there were a lot of things in it's either like this workplace or there were a lot of things with this person that you just did not see. And some of it, it's like God didn't want you to see all of it. Like you really did not need to absorb that or have those emotional responses or reactions to what it is that you didn't see. You know, but things are truly working out for your highest good. Why the destiny card with the Ten of Swords? Yeah, this was a Ten of Swords. It was a Ten of Wands. You do have the Wheel of Fortune over here. You know, we talk about destiny and fate. It was destiny for this something over here to end, okay? I do feel like it had to do with a person. Maybe it was like uh, a job that you wanted, a project, whatever that was. It was not supposed to be. And it was for your highest good, honestly. You know, even if it looked like this is what you wanted, you know, um, it feels like what you need is coming in. And it's interesting. It's like, there, there's what you want, but then there's also what you need that's going to be coming in. All right. What does Pisces need right now? Ooh, baby, you need the sun. You need some justice. Okay. You need some balance. You need some justice. And it is coming in. All right. So what you wanted didn't work out. What you wanted. Why? Because what you need is coming in, Pisces, which is the sun card. This is what's going to make you actually happy. Okay. This is what's going to make you happy. This is what's going to bring you abundance, vitality. Why the sun card for Pisces? Yeah, keep holding on, okay? Because this is coming in. You have the four of wands. You have celebration coming in. Four of coins, the strength card, okay? Hold on, Pisces. Release what needs to be released. And you yourself be patient and just hold on during this time to that trust and to that faith because things are truly happening for your highest good. We have the strength card, which is the Leo energy. The sun card is Leo energy as well. We are in Leo season, but whenever you come across this video, it can be for you. Some of these things are happening because you're being tested at this time, Pisces. It's, it's, it's testing the inner beast. All right, it's calming. It's like you're being asked to find peace in whatever that this storm is for you. It just was not supposed to work out. It wasn't supposed to. But what is supposed to be for you is coming in. What's coming in for Pisces? Yes, what's for you is for you. Six of Cups, what is for you is for you, Pisces. Ace of Wands. This is passion. This is purpose. This is creativity. This is the sun. You have all of the sun for what you need. But maybe what you wanted and what you thought was the sun was just, it wasn't that, okay? So this happened for your highest good. There were things that you did not see, that you were protected from, from also not seeing. You don't even need to know, all right? But it wasn't for your highest good. That's why it didn't work out. Um, and you have great things that are coming in for you. Why? What's this Ace of Wands? What is this Ace of Wands? You have work that is more aligned for you coming in. 444, as I say that, okay? Money, work, opportunities that are more aligned for you. People, people that are more aligned for you than whatever that this was. 
whoever this person was, whatever this was over here, uh, it wasn't completely aligned with you in the long run. Um, there were things that you didn't see, right? Pisces, Ace of Wands, Queen of Cups, that's your energy, Three of Coins. This is work, this is opportunity, this is money that's truly aligned to you. You know, um, I, I hear not all money is good money. That's what I hear. Um, all right, so it's like whoever you were working with, whatever you were doing, the person you were with, not all of it's good, right? Uh, and so this stuff is coming in for you, like-minded people, people that uh, have pure intentions, three, three, pure intentions for you. You're going to be surrounded by people who have pure intentions, all right? The Hierophant, all right? Commitment, look at two of cups. You, for some of you, you're signing a contract, all right? Contracts, opportunities, long, this, the Hierophant is the long term, two of cups. People who are in it for the long term, not when things are just seem like they're shining bright, you know, um, not when things are going right, but people who are in this for the long term. That's what I'm hearing. You also have a, um, I'm getting the animal spirit of the whale and of the elephant, which both of them live very old, right? This is the long term Pisces. You are receiving networking, collaborations, soul tribe, soul brothers, soul sisters, romantic connections that are for the long term. They're in it for the long run. They're in it for the long term. And it's it keeps coming out. So like for some of you, you just really need to hear that long term. You didn't need these people. You didn't need this. You didn't need these people because what I'm getting is like faulty foundation. Like just, you know, it's like um, building a foundation out of paper. Like the, it's going to collapse. You know, um, it feels like this wasn't supposed to work out. There were things that you did not see. This is a true foundation and it's one for the long run. What's a card of advice? Just being a surrender, Pisces. Justice, because justice is here. Let God be God. Um, be in surrender right now, which is not easy, but it's also asking you to look at this from a different perspective, okay, with the, hang went, the hangman, the hanged one, right? Look at this from a different perspective, and it's going to feel a little bit uncomfortable, but just being in the surrender, trusting what is, you know, um, taking it day by day, also grounding yourself. That's what I have for you. I hope that this resonates. Again, if you would like a one-on-one -on -one personal reading, if you would just like a personal reading, an Akashic Record session, which is 22% off right now, feel free to check out the box below, 144bluerosetempo.com, and my email's in the box below as well. You have cycles, and then you still have goddess on the bottom of the deck. Um, everything has its right time, right? Everything has its right time. Honor the cycles of your body. Tune into the moon's magic. All right, honoring the moon. For some of you, you're really connected to the moon. Uh, also just honoring cycles. Like this is obviously a cycle of death and then there's the cycle of rebirth and then it's continuous. You know, it's like honoring the cycles. Um, some of you really connect with like, um, I'm hearing like some of you can like, this is very random, but it's like, you know when it's gonna rain, like your body knows when it's gonna rain. So this could be for you if that resonates. What else do we have for Pisces? Yeah, there are future decisions to make, Pisces. You're going to be meeting with people who, again, this is long term. This is community work. This is generational wealth. Future prospects, decisions to make, seeking guidance. Some of you are being called to seek guidance at this time, whether it be from your spirit guides, maybe from another. Um, others of you, um, you're making future plans, okay? Making future plans. What's another card? The reunion, mm -mm. second chance. All right. You have protection, boundaries, clear communication. All right. Clear communication at this time. Again, we're in Venus retrograde, so our connections are going to be testing us. Um, how, set your protection, protective boundaries as well. I'm getting for some of you, even energetically, setting those protective boundaries. All right. You do have the reunion, soul recognition collaboration partnership friendship okay um these people these new people that are coming in this is soul recognition it's like i know you i see you i feel you i resonate with you we have the same vision we're working towards the same goal we have the same intention when two or three are gathered so let's come together and let's do this that's what i'm hearing for these new people that are coming into your life a lot of these are going to be past life soul reunions You've known these people in past lives. You've 
I hear Atlantis specifically, like Atlantis Avalon, like you've worked with these people, you've collaborated before. Um, these are collaborations, partnerships, and friendships that are in it for the long haul um, and are in it with pure intentions. I'm getting specifically like intentions is very important. You make sure that you have very clear intentions when it comes to what you want in your life in general. That could be some of the boundaries. It's like, these are my boundaries. These are my boundaries. These are my intentions for what I want in my life. And you're going to find people who have those same intentions. And it feels like as you're, you're you know, letting your higher self know, and even like in your reality stating, this is what I want, you are going to attract those people who are aligned with those intentions and with your mission. That's what I have for you, Pisces. I hope that this resonates. I'm sending you all so much love and so many blessings to your day.